All right, this is going to be a look at a Caterpillar 14M motor grader. These are brand new, even though this one does have some dirt on it. That's odd. But there's not one 14M or two, but a total of three 14Ms out here, which is awesome because these graders are just awesome. All right, so I'm going to start back here. You got your engine. You got a big old ripper back here. Ripper isn't too terribly deep, but it's pretty wide, so you got a really large hydraulic cylinder for it, and then your linkage just for it to go up and down. Got a radiator fan back here. Got your two big tires back here. This is probably an all-wheel and them. Might be an all-wheel drive machine, I'm not sure. Um, VHP Plus, I think that's a, a grading system that comes with a lot of Caterpillar equipment now, I think. I'm not positive on that. Anyways, uh, you got your articulation back here. Yeah, if you can see, it's back here. Um, and you, know, you got your ladder going up to your cab, which this is all your joystick controlled cab. You got all your foot pedals down here. Computers and all oh, tons of controls. I'd love to operate one of these. Um, you got your blade. It's a 14 foot blade. That's the 14M. You got your swing. You got your hydraulic cylinders for lift. You got hydraulic cylinder for blade pitch. You got this cylinder to move your whole blade back, forward and backwards. You got just all sorts of controls. There's the 14M logo. I really like the new look of the graders with the all black and everything. The black, you know, they, they just look real nice. Um, here, got here up front, you got your linkage to control the pitch of the front wheels. And I found this out actually not too long ago, but the whole reason that the front wheels, you can change the pitch of them like you can kind of see right here. Um, but that's to, when you're grading, you're pulling all this dirt right here, this acts like a sled, so it would want to kind of start to calm the, drag the whole machine this way, and by tilting the wheels, you counteract that sledding effect. I actually just found that out not too long ago. Thank you, YouTube. Um, and, uh, there's another shot of your cab. Um... If you can see some of the drive in here. It's a cool machine. There's your articulation linkage. Um, there you go. They got uh, three more of these out here. They are nice looking machines. So uh, I'll give you some specs on this here. All right, now for some more information on the Caterpillar 14M motor grader. The engine model is a Caterpillar C11 ACERT VHP diesel engine has 259 horsepower. The price of this machine, well, I could not find an exact price for this machine, but the closest price I could find was for 140M with a 12-foot mold board and 183 horsepower, and that would cost you $333,000, meaning this machine is probably somewhere in the $400,000 range. That's just an assumption, though. Please, if you know, please correct me. Um, the weight of this machine is 65,998 pounds. It has a maximum forward speed of 31 miles per hour and a maximum reverse speed of 24 miles per hour. Um, it has 130 gallon fuel tank capacity and at 350 gallon per diesel it would cost you $455 to fill up the tank. Um, the mold board height is 27 inches and the maximum down pressure on this 14 foot blade is 38,781 pounds. Um, the maximum lift above ground for the mold board is 16.5 inches, and the maximum cutting depth of the mold board is 17.3 inches. The maximum ripping depth for this machine is 15.8 inches. Um, this machine, on the last picture, you can see that this machine was imported through Texas. Um, from Brazil, actually, where they make motor graders. Um, Caterpillar actually, over this year and next year, is investing 180 million dollars into two plants in Brazil and in Brazil they're making wheel loaders, motor graders, um, loader backhoes, track type tractors, hydraulic excavators, and underground mining loaders among other things. 
So that's just a little bit of information about this machine and how it got here. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. And um, thank you for watching. Have a great day.